Welcome back to SJ336. SJ336 is St. John chapter 3 verse 36. I'm Stephanie Jeanette and this is a video presentation of my book, A Daily Devotional. It is unpublished, obviously copyrighted. To me, it's my creation by the grace of God. Uh, we're on day 73. We're on day 73. I am going to be able to read the scripture references for this day. <clears throat> There are Romans 9.33, the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 1, verse 23, chapter 13, verses 14 through 16, as well as chapter 16, verse 23, Colossians 3.17, Galatians 5.11, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, through 33, and then the book of Romans, chapter 5, verses 14 through 16, continuing with Genesis 3, 15, James 4, 4, and then again, <clears throat> the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 25, verse 33, or 23, <clears throat> Romans 9, 33. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling block, and rock of offense, and whosoever, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. That was Romans 9, 3 from the King James Version. And this will be from the English Standard Version, ESV. Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. St. Matthew 123. I'm going to read all of the St. Matthew references, well, short of that last one. And then, you know, in the King James, and then go to the English Standard, book by book, pair, uh, basically. <clears throat> 123. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. For all this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and she should be converted, and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. <clears throat> then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. Okay, so now for the English Standard Version of those Matthew references. Matthew 1.23 Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. <clears throat> Matthew 13.14-16 Indeed, in their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled that says, You will indeed hear, but never understand, and you will indeed see, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and with their ears they can barely hear, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their ears and hear with their ears. 
I'm sorry, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and turn and I would heal them. For blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. <clears throat> 1623. Again, um, these scriptural references are designed to make you want to have more information about them and dig further in the word. 1623. But he turned and said to Peter, Oh, I didn't read that before. All right, so before I read 22 and the 23, when I read the King James Version, right now I'm just going to read the 22 and 23 in the English Standard. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan, you are in hindrance to me, for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. Of man. <clears throat> okay, so Colossians 317 <clears throat> in Colossians 317 in the King James <clears throat> and whatsoever you do in word or deed do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. And now for the English Standard Version of Colossians 317. <clears throat> I remember that order of books as GEPC, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. Prior to that, you have your Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and then you have Acts. You know, you can kind of remember that because of the progression, you know, Jesus' life, his birth, his life, his ministry, his passion, his uh, death and resurrection, and his uh, giving forth of the Holy Spirit. So, you know, that Acts is right after the uh, last book of the Gospels. And then you got your Romans, and then your uh, first and second Corinthians. <clears throat> All right, so Colossians three seventeen in the English Standard Version. And whatever you do, do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. And Galatians 5.11, and the GEPC, Galatians 5.11. <clears throat> and I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then is the offense of the cross ceased. Galatians 5.11. But if I, brothers, still preach circumcision, why am I still being persecuted? In that case, the offense of the cross has been removed. <clears throat> First Corinthians 10. Verses 31 to 33. First Corinthians 10, 31 to 33. Starting with the King James Version. Whether therefore you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. Give none offense, neither, do, neither to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of God, even as I please all men in all things, not seeking mine own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be saved. Standard Version, 1 Corinthians 10, 31, 32, and 33. So whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Give no offense to Jews or to Greeks or to the church of God. 
just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking my own advantage, but that of many, that they may be saved. Romans 5, 14 through 16. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the multitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come, but not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abandoned unto many, and not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. <clears throat> Amen. Romans 5. One thing I noticed about the book of Romans is um, I wouldn't say stream of consciousness, but <clears throat> the way it is written um, it makes references to a lot of other concepts in Christ such that you have to really pay attention um, can't let your mind wander you can't assume things you can leap and bound right away from the truth um, I would say it's probably a good thing to read Hebrews with Romans Okay, so Romans again, 5, 14 through 16. And this is the English Standard Version. And again, you, obviously you want to read more of, of this. When you read that chunk, you want to read more. And I designed these suggestions to make you desire to want to read more into what, uh, what, I'm, what I'm reading. Or what I'm suggesting. Romans 5, 14 through 16. English Standard Version. Yet death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sinning was not like the transgression of Adam, who was a type of the one who was to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass. For if many died through one man's trespass, much more have the grace of God and the free gift by the grace of that one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for many. And the free gift is not like the result of that one man's sin. For the judgment following one trespass brought condemnation. But the free gift following many trespasses brought justification. And Genesis 3.15 King James And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Genesis 315, English Standard Version. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Obviously that was God Almighty talking to serpent. James 4 and 4, King James Version. Now, for that section, uh, I remember by Christ's inner circle as he walked the earth, which was considered uh, James, Peter, and John. And in the sec that section, which occurs after Hebrews, immediately after Hebrews, you get James, then 
first and second Peter, and then first, second, and third John. Uh, then Jude. All right. And then <clears throat> Revelation, Book of Revelation, which is the last book. All right, we'll read James four four, and then immediately immediately prior to Hebrews, you have uh, Titus, but Philemon. Philemon or Philemon. Just before Philemon is Titus. And then just before Titus is the other T, Timothy, first and second Timothy. And just before the Timothy's is the other T, first and second Thessalonians. And then the Thessalonians are after the GEPC, and they all end in they all end in the Yun, right? Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. And you got the T's with the Yun, first and second Thessalonians. You got the other T, second Timothy. The other T, Titus. And then he, uh, he uh, Philemon, verse in. And, hold on a second, yeah, yeah then he moves. All right, so, James 4, 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore would be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. That was King James. And the English Standard Version. James 4 and 4. You adulterous people, do you not know what that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. And then the last scripture reference for day 73, St. Matthew 25, 23. First book of the New Testament, first gospel, New Testament, and the first book, St. Matthew 25, verse 23. King James, his Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. And the English Standard Version presents it. Thus. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little, I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. Okay. Hold on, my legs are coming out on me. Okay, so those are the scriptural references for day 73. The suggested praise uh, is a performance at the White House called The Gospel Tradition, dated 2015. And the YouTube upload is dated June 30th, 2015. It says, in performance at the White House, The Gospel Tradition, 2015. And for the entry, it's rather short. We're called to be salt and light unto a world wherein the enemy constantly coaxes us to seek out blandness and darkness. If we're to be true to the only one who is true and truth, we have to feed his sheep, clothe the poor, and yes, offend the stiff-necked and proud. There is balance, of course, and we're to be loving, not hate-filled. And essentially, the unadulterated message of Jesus Christ will offend no matter how sweetly or not we declare it in word and in deed. 
Be the light in Christ Jesus unto a dying world that others may receive eternal life by your witness. Or by our witness. Yeah, that one stung, right? With the being a friend of the world, you're an enemy of God. So, I don't want to be an enemy of God. I don't know about you. It's knowing the balance. When are we pursuing things on earth in such a way that it makes us God's enemy? Peter say to Jesus, they'll follow him wherever he go. And he says, really? Well, there's men has no place to lay his head. So how do we <clears throat> how do we know when we're when our motivations surpass our calling, our God given calling and ministerial duty? Versus our needs on earth. How do you balance that? How do you balance seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness? All these things will be added on to you. How long do you wait for it to be added on? Do you have to wait? Yeah, sometimes I think you have to wait. Okay, so that was the entry and so intercessory prayer. Dear Father God Almighty, help us to humble ourselves before you that we may be used by you to your glory as the day approaches. We pray today, Lord, for those suffering from schizophrenia. May they yield to your tug on their heart. We also pray, dear Holy Speaker, for the Mal Malaysians. May all experience any needed deliverance from online addiction. In Christ Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to day 73 of a daily devotional. This is S channel YouTube channel SJ336. I'm Stephanie Jeanette, and I appreciate your tuning in. Have an excellent day.